Hey guys, Dominic here. Today I'm going to show you a variety of things that we have to do for our homework zero. Uh, this involved writing a make file, hello world program, learning how to use tar, and handing in our homework on the CSIF computers. Okay, so first uh, I wanted to go and show you real quick that on Smart Site here you have the homework zero PDF under the homework resources uh, folder. And once you have that open, uh, you can go ahead and look at all the instructions. Very specific, uh, very to the point. Uh, I will be following this for the tutorial. Alright, so we will be making a make file, hello world program, tar, uh, learn how to use the tar function, um, and also hand in on the CSIF computers. Uh, I'm currently using Kali Linux, which is Debian based, but uh, the uh, process will be very similar on whatever Linux distribution you're using. So uh, first I'm showing you here that uh, in the textbook there is an example hello world program so for the purposes of this homework assignment you can just easily copy and paste that in. Uh, so I'm showing you my code here I'm not going to really go over and explain it that's more of the books job but once you have that code written uh, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and save it uh, to any folder you'd like really I saved it to my homework zero folder and you're going to save it as hello.cpp, C++. Uh, once you've went ahead and written that code, you are going to want to create a make file. Uh, this make file is going to want to either compile the program or uncompile it, or basically delete the uh, executable. So here I'll show you my code. It's pretty simple. You have an all command. This is the, just a basic make command, and this will if you look closely it'll use G++ to compile my hello uh, file into a executable and you will also see that there is a clean command and under that you'll see that it is set up to remove the hello executable and I will show you examples of each of these in just a sec so <clears throat> once you have finished that make file you're going to want to save it into the same folder as you see here, I have a make file and the hello C++, and you can see that that's the executable hello file right next to the hello.c++. So once you have that make file created, you can just write make, and it'll not very nicely show you what it just did, and you can see that it made the hello um, hello executable, and you want to write make clean not clear because that's the command we used and that will remove the hello executable so once again I'll make that executable again and in order to run it you're going to do period forward slash hello or backslash and then here you can see that it printed out exactly what the instructions told us to print the hello ECS 40 from and then the last five of your student ID and uh, also it won't show up in the terminal, but you will. Uh, it will automatically add the end line uh, terminator to your string, so you don't have to worry about actually adding that in. Right now, I hit. Uh, I typed in man space tar to show the uh, basically the help file for tar. So if you're ever stuck or need to figure out how to do something, uh, that's a very useful tool. It's uh, actually written very well. So now, in order to create your tar file, basically a zip file, you're going to uh, type in tar-cvf, and then first you're going to type in the zip file that you're creating, so hello.tar, that is your file that you're creating, and then you're going to type in afterwards any files that are going to be involved in the making of that file. So I'm adding both hello.cpp and make file. Uh, you don't have to write the V when uh, using the tar command, but the V shows you exactly what files you're adding in the following uh, printed statements. And then you can then use ls to uh, list the files in your directory. Um, right now, I went ahead and skipped forward because I had some te technical difficulties, but uh, now that you have that tar file created, you can then use sftp. Uh, our class recommends SCP, but I find SFTP to be a lot easier to use. 
So you're going to use SFTP and you're going to connect uh, to the remote computers using your username at PC pick a number dot cs dot uc davis dot edu and uh, assuming the PC isn't running slow which if you see me switching numbers here that's because the PC wasn't responding um, it's going to ask you to add a host key to your computer so you're going to want to you're going to want to go ahead and write yes because um, otherwise you won't be able to connect and then it'll ask you for your password um, once you've typed in your password it'll go ahead and bring up an SFTP prompt or not because of you know the computer is lagging so I went ahead and canceled that because the computer wasn't connecting so don't be alarmed if it takes a while so I went ahead and chose a different PC typed in my password again and boom connected so now I've got the SFTP command prompt. The two things you're going to want to uh, going to want to know is put and get. Put will put files onto the remote computer. Get will get remote files from that computer and put it on yours. Um, there's a whole thing with changing directories, but uh, I find it easier just to put the file over there. And then once you've got it onto the other computer, you're going to want to quit. Um, to get out of that command prompt and then you're going to want to connect remotely using SSH uh, the same command as before SSH at uh, your username at PC pick a number dot CS dot UC Davis dot EDU once you're there you're gonna write LS to list the files that are there and you can see that I put the file hello dot tar into the the basically the starting directory and now I'm showing you how to untar the file basically unzip it so tar hyphen xvf and then the file name uh, that will then uh, unzip all the files and then just to make sure that everything runs on the on the remote computers you then want to make the file and then run the executable and once you've done that you're going to want to write hand in space cs40 space homework zero and I'm just checking to make sure I have everything right here and then your tar file hello.tar um, once you've done this it'll say submitting and ok and I never believe it so I type in again hand in cs40 homework zero and it'll actually list everything I've turned in the date everything uh, Thank you for watching my video. I really hope this helps you. Uh, please subscribe for future videos and uh, comment. Thank you.